Hi, everyone. I'm very excited to be here. I've seen really, really cool things out there, innovation and vision. So I'm going to be the heretic who is going to talk about language. Um, I think in the last decade, we felt like language and artificial intelligence in NLP and vision were kind of developing parallel. And the cross-section of these two fields were kind of sparse and sort of uninteresting. I want to convince you that that's not true. There were actually really interesting works going on. And today, looking forward with vision, we actually have to understand what's happening in language. And language and the AI of language has a profound impact in how today's AI and CV models are being built and used and what the future is going to bring there. So obviously no AI event can go without talking about LLMs. And I apologize in advance, but I'll be covering some of the basics that you might be familiar with already. But I think it's really critical to understand some of these fundamental ideas, because when we move later in this talk about vision, it will be important to reflect where we came from and how these concepts translate to perception. So today, LLMs are everywhere. Everybody has a startup on LLMs. Everybody thinks LLMs is like the way to solve problems. You know, you can copyright your next email. You can correct your grammar, your style. Some people believe we can build SQLs automatically. Uh, I think that's not happening, but uh, feel free to try it. Uh, we've seen great things about web page design, um, you know, all kind of co-pilots. And there are even software engineers building AI software engineers because they don't want to work in the future. So kind of to really like, summarize what happens in large language model is we have text. We convert this text into actual numbers. This is the process of tokenization. Tokenization is very interesting because the number of tokens gives a lot of power to the LLM, but makes training more costly, more complicated. Then we have some sort of complicated neural network. I'm going to talk about it later. And we decode the tokens it predicts, and then we have the output text. This whole revolution started in 2017 with the attention all you need paper, I would say. Obviously, NLP existed before, but the major jump, I would say, like the image net of NLP was obviously the, the idea of attention, which later gave rise to uh, the transformer blocks, which are basically attention and feedforward network and layer normalization combined. That gave rise to encoder and decoder architectures, um, really, really perfecting language translation. And then what we learned over the last several years through GPT and the evolution of GPT is suddenly if we increase scale, some sort of intelligence or perception of intelligence appears. And I think that's, um, that's a very interesting idea. And we are going to, a little bit, uh, going to uh, go deeper into that. 